like it. The producers, they like it. They don't love it. Okay? Ever since Sins of the Night Tank, everyone feels you've lost your edge. Hey, the director screwed up Sins of the Night. That was a perfect script. It was. It was. It still is. If they would just read the version I actually wrote. Look, no one cares about a script once it becomes a movie. It's out there. The script sucks. It bombed. It's the worst movie in history. Get over it. Go back to your roots. No one cares about lesbian vampires. Are you kidding me? Everybody loves lesbian vampires. So I was thinking about playing the character of Frida with a limp. I hear what you're saying, but I don't think so. Frida is a very graceful woman, so I don't think she would have a limp. What's my motivation? Your motivation is Frida. She's the love of your life. Can I be the lead? No, you can't be the lead. We've discussed this already. She's the lead. Why am I still here? Okay, listen, guys. I think Frida should come through the door. Deliver the line that accuses Greg of being unfaithful. She slaps him. He drops to his knees. And Hello? Julie! Hey, it's Todd. What? Yeah, I need to uh, speak with Vincent. You have balls, my friend. After five years, now you want to talk? He got paid for the work we did. Look, I went solo because he decided he wanted to go back to doing local theater. You promised to back him his first play. Yeah, well, things hadn't gone as well as I'd hoped. Look, is Vinny around? You think he wants to talk to you? I don't even want to talk to you. Yeah, well, I need to speak with him, all right? So, it's urgent. When he has the time, you know the number. I think we need to replace Carol. She's not strong enough. She's not as fierce as I expect Frida to be. I'll call her agent and, uh... What did he want? Nothing. Really? Todd called for nothing. I told him you were busy. And if you want to, to call him back. Oh, no. I have a play to direct. Now, for the actress, I was thinking maybe Aren't you curious? About what? About him? The guy's a soulless hack. Maybe he needs your help. That's why he has agents. They're there to help him. They're there to hold his hands, wipe his ass, tell him everything's going to be okay. I have other things on my mind. This play is on my mind. They'll show up. People like good art. I hope so, because they weren't there for the last one. I mean, they, they'd rather stay at home and watch Masterpiece Theater on their iPads. Oh, shame. You know, I feel like we're a dying breed. The world runs on two things. Passion and money. And both go hand in hand, sad to say, but I believe that if one has passion, money and success will come. You worked hard. You'll get what you deserve. Vinny, old boy, I knew you wouldn't call. You following me? Well, you're doing local theater now, so chances are I knew you were taking the bus to work. Do you think everything's okay between us? Look. Go on, go home. Come on, man, just meet me at Johnny's. One hour tonight, that's all I ask. No. Please, I just want to sit and talk like we used to. Like we used to? Like before you left and never looked back? I deserve that. But this is important. If it'll get you back on a plane. That's what I'm talking about. Perfect, meet me and my brothers tonight. One hour, that's it, all right? By the way, the hair looks amazing, buddy. My shift's almost over. Do you want me to call a taxi, Mr. Macri? It's good, I'll take care of it. Don't worry about locking up. My brother left me the key. Not too smart, my brother. Hey, let me ask you. You ever see any of the films I made? Um, just the last one, uh, Sin something. Sins of the Night. What'd you think? I liked it. Okay, it, I'm sorry, it sucked. I mean, really, really, it was bad. Do you have an opinion as to why it sucks, sweetheart? Or uh, is that the extent of your critical analysis? You know your brother's right. You're an asshole. Yeah, well, my brother isn't a film critic either. Good night. Glad you came. Can I get you something to drink? What do you want, Todd? 
I want us to collaborate on a script. How could you ask me that? Because you're the best screenwriter I know, and I know you and me, we can come up with something great. What happened since the night didn't get you that Oscar nomination, so you come back to the well? Wasn't my fault. The director screwed that up. So tell me, after a bomb like that, how does one survive? It's not easy. So whoever pays your bills doesn't want one you have to offer. That's why you need it. The answer is no. This is a real movie. The big time, man. There's no big time for me, Todd. That theater is all I have, and it's all I need. But is it all you want? You know what? You, you flew back here for nothing. You should have just stayed home and wrote another boy meets girl, girl turns into an alien, write a few nude scenes for the foreign investors, and voila, you're rich. First of all, I never wrote about aliens. Only the supernatural. And second, my work is my legacy. Great, so you want to be remembered for garbage. Every screenwriter has a few blemishes, all right? I just need for my next one to be great or else I'm fucking on the streets, man. Have a good flight back, Todd. If you want, I can give you a reference for Charlie's Chicken Shack. Not even an hour. Late, Vince. I know, I'm sorry, but I figured you'd be away. I know we haven't spoken in a while, but I have to ask. Is he there? I assume we're talking about Todd. Why would I be talking to that piece of shit? Family commitments. Family commitments? What about it? I know you'll mention it to him when you see him. We're long over and done, you know that. I'm not presuming anything. Just when you see him, mention it, please. I will. What does everyone think I screw you whenever you snake back into town? Family commitments. I forgot about that. You could have sold that and be rich. That was a good one. I would have been great in that. Yes, you would. Oh, man. That can be a hit. I want that script. I need that script. Time to celebrate, babe. Golden Boys. Ah! We were known as the Golden Boys, Vinny and me. That's what the press called us. We sold Diabolical, huge payday. After that, the studio came up to me and asked me to write something on my own, and I took it. Vinny got pissed, and he went back to doing local theater out here. I ended up writing three big movies, and what do I get? Three big flops. Bombs. Freak Show, Vampire School, and Sins of the Night. That was bad. Yeah. Thanks. But now, with that script, I can get back in their good books. I smell prestige, baby. I smell awards. I smell something. You gonna run over that guy again? What? How can you say that? You wrote one great movie, one amazing personal film. And then what happened? I went solo after they offered me... <sighs> you chose big money over your best friend. Ah, that was then. This is now. People don't change. <laughs> People never change. They only think they do until their old vices come creeping back around again. And money, my friend, is your biggest vice. Maybe not my biggest. Maybe I fuck around a lot to get arts and shit movies. And you say people don't change. They don't. But I never said I'd fuck you. Good one. What am I doing?
I forgot how good this was. It was our best work, but nobody wanted it back then. It was our best work. Studios, they're only in it for the next big franchise, though, man. They're vultures. No one even fucking wants to work for them. You wrote since the night. Vince, I gotta eat, man. I'm just a cog in a very big and expensive wheel. Wrote myself into a bind. But this, this is gonna get me out, Vince. The only thing, the ending. This ending's not gonna work for a major motion picture, I'm telling you. What? This is what I'm talking about. We said this was perfect then, so it's perfect now. So what? That's our name on it. Who cares if there's a couple of changes? A few changes? You want, you want to change the ending? What's next? The, the names? The plot? Look, it can stand a polish. Okay? And the plot, it's too simple. That's what we loved about it. It wasn't mainstream. It was original. It was honest and simple. Look, I get that you're into the whole soulful, protective, artistic thing. I really do. I'm just saying that we would get paid more if we would just change it. I can't do this. If I'm going to make any money from this, it has to be from this script's merits. That's the only way. Fine. As is. If they pick it up, make sure it's me. You're right. Simple. I overcomplicate things, man. Drink. No thanks. Jesus Christ, we're doing this, man. And it's bad luck to leave me hanging. Cheers. Tastes like piss. You'll get used to it. You really think it'll sell? Oh, it'll sell. My name's on the line. And I wouldn't be out here if I didn't think this would work. My last day flopped. I really need this to work. Mostly for my wife because she's put up with a lot of shit over the years. So she deserves the best. But this script is my heart and soul. This script is my life. You got it? I promise you, Vince, we'll make this work. And once this is done, you're gonna own your own theater. And you won't be sucking on your agent's teeth anymore. If anything, you'll be sucking on yours. Okay. All right? Yeah. Cheers. For the drinks. I got it. I always pay for drinks. You decide your brother's gonna be pissed that you're basically stealing from him. Don't worry about him, all right? You get the next one. Fine, the next one. Thanks, Vince. I'll send you a contract so everything's legit and, uh, yeah, we're doing this. Okay, speak to you soon. Yeah. Soon. Sure.